gaseous exchange between alveolus and capillaries so during breathing air enters into lungs and enters into some air sac like structures called as alveoli so there are numerous alveoli present in lungs we can say millions and millions of alveoli are present in lungs and each alveolus is surrounded by a plate capillary each alveolus is covered with a membrane which is having single layer of a cells that means each alveolus is made up of one cell thickness membrane each alveolus is uh, surrounded by blood capillaries no these blood capillaries are also covered with membranes which are of having one cell thickness that means uh, these blood capillaries are also having a single layered uh, thickness membranes during gaseous exchange between alveolus and capillaries process already alveolus has air which contains both carbon dioxide and oxygen gases likewise blood capillaries also has dark red color blood also containing oxygen and carbon dioxide gases so both alveolus and blood capillaries have oxygen and carbon dioxide gases but there is some concentration gradient between them that means concentration difference is present between them here in alveolus the concentration of oxygen is high when compared to the oxygen present in blood capillaries that's why by a process called diffusion oxygen moves from high concentration that means from alveolus to low concentration that means into blood capillaries same like this carbon dioxide concentration gradient is also present here carbon dioxide concentration in blood capillaries is high when compared to its concentration in alveolus so due to concentration gradient the carbon dioxide molecules move from high concentration that means from blood capillaries to low concentration that means into alveolus so like this exchange of gases takes place between alveolus and blood capillaries the carbon dioxide which entered into alveolus will move out of our body during a exhalation process and the oxygen which entered into blood capillaries will combine with a red color pigment called hemoglobin and produces into oxyhemoglobin compound now the blood with oxyhemoglobin will return to heart and then pumped out to all parts of our body this oxyhemoglobin will split into oxygen again in cells and it is useful for oxidation of food materials okay uh, you might have some doubt uh, like why carbon dioxide concentration is high in blood capillaries and oxygen concentration is low why because during oxidation of food materials some amount of oxygen is utilized in our body that's why its concentration is less in our blood and why concentration concent uh, carbon dioxide concentration is high because during oxidation of food material some extra amount of carbon dioxide is produced so some amount of carbon dioxide is produced in oxidation of food material so because of that its concentration is high in blood capillaries okay that is about a gaseous exchange between alveolus and capillaries thank you so much for watching jai hind